most of the people in our population, they'll spend a lot of hours every day and every week trying to figure out how to avoid failure, trying to figure out how to minimize their mistakes, trying to figure out how to take the safe and cautious path, how to do it the easier way. Where the champions are saying, no, 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 safe and cautious and easy, right? That doesn't cut it if I want to do something exceptional. That's great at getting me into the middle class. If you pick out the safe, sure, easy path where there aren't going to be a lot of failures, there aren't going to be a lot of mistakes, it's very predictable, right? You'll get just that. You'll get safe, easy, and predictable. Discoveries come out of failure after failure after failure, trial and error, right? You fail, you tweak it, you fail, you tweak it, you make changes, you make modifications until, bang, you hit it. And one of the guys that knows this better than anybody that I've ever met is Michael Jordan. Interesting thing about Michael Jordan. You look at this guy, and a lot of people say he's perhaps one of the best players ever to play the game of basketball. He's number one in NBA history in only one category. You know what it is? Missed shots. <laughs> he's missed, he missed more shots in his NBA career than anybody else. Now, he's number two and three and five, and he's in the top ten in a lot of categories. But the one he owns is missed shots. And it just so happens, it's the one he's most proud of. He'll talk to you all day about championship shots that he missed. The reason he's so exceptional, in my book and from my research, is that he looks at this and he recognizes the value of dreaming and envisioning and creating and playing and being innovative and thinking out of the box, right? And it has to do with soul and spirituality and faith and freedom, right? We can go round and round and round that box, too. That's the trusting mindset. A great performer that is good at the training mindset and the trusting mindset, one thing we say is they've got vision, they've got passion, right? They understand what it feels like to be free. I mean, they do things because they ins they're inspired, right? Not just because they're on a to-do list. Being realistic is justifying negative thinking.